Stay tuned for this important tip. From our garden to yours. Sometimes you see a plant and you know that you simply must have it in your garden. Stephen Patagas of Port Oasis is here today to share some of his plants on his to die for list. Welcome Stephen. Hi Celeste, how are you today? I'm doing great, I'm Good. doing great. I so can't I, wait to talk about these plants. I want to hear all about them. Okay. So tell me, let's start right with this one. Okay, we're going to start out here right by the sidewalk right at the end. Everybody sees this plant when they approach our house, Portis Oasis. This is the uh, torch aloe. And the torch aloe gets a beautiful red blossom on it on a spike, uh, which is really dynamic. And of course it has this fabulous texture and it's actually soft to the touch. And even the uh, foliage is beautiful. Yeah, real striking. Just, yeah, it is very striking. When, what time does it bloom? It's uh, blooming during the cooler months. It's during the yep. cooler months. Well, this one you have to touch, I think. Yeah, so we're playing with the texture here. So that's a little coarser texture. Here's a finer texture right here. This is the Breeze Lomandra. And, you can, and you can see a few of the spent blossoms in here, actually. These are kind of yellowish mm -hmm. earlier in the season, and they have a little bit of a honey scent to them. But this is a very low water use plant from Australia. Just want to plant this one high. It needs it to have some good drainage. Need to be planted high. Yes. So over here you have the pineapple guava. There's a pineapple guava. guava, yeah, which is really interesting because you can use it as a tree instead of just as a shrub. And we had that at the office used as yeah, a shrub. Yeah, it's the got old a beautiful, office. beautiful blossom, edible does, little edible petals fruit. on it as well. Edible fruit. Well, this I love this plant. Yeah, we're looking for vertical accent here. So when we're designing with all of these plants and using them in other people's, designing them for other people's gardens, we look for vertical accents. And this is a Yaupon holly tree, which you usually find in other forms. But this was a great columnar. This is called the Will Fleming. And this plant, um, it is hard to find something that's vertical. A lot of the European gardens want something vertical. And yes, some of the plants just don't do that it's well. It's a great accent for a lot of the gardens. Well, this one, I, you just have to tell me all about this one. Well, this is a very interesting plant. This is a succulent. It's also called a miniature jade, but I like its other common name better. It's called elephant's food. And it comes from South Africa, where elephants actually eat it, and they browse it down to the ground, and it grows like a ground cover. And then in areas in Africa where the goats eat it, it grows higher, and then it has to spread by seed. And it's cared for just like a like a um, jade. Yeah, very low water use. Wonderful plant. Oh, this oh. one. Oh, ah. this is the one you have to be careful when you touch I this just one. Touched. It is. This is a very sticky plant. This is a dickia. It's a terrestrial orc um, hmm. bromeliad, which means it can grow in the ground. And it's a very, very low water use, and it gets beautiful orange spikes in the cool months. This is really an orchid. No, bromeliad. Oh, bromeliad. Yeah, it's bromeliad. A bromeliad. Yep. Terrestrial bromeliad. Yeah, it's bromeliad. So it's bromeliad. not an air plant. Yeah. And we have one more here that you want to share with me. Yeah, this one kind of looks like an aloe, but it's it actually does. an agave huh. without any spines, and it's called squid agave. It looks like a squid. And it looks like a squid. Yeah, very appropriately named as a for its common name. And I noticed all of these that you have in full sun. Yes. All of them in full, full sun. Full sun, low care, uh, low water use there as well. I think you have one more to share with me. I do. I think we should go to the other end of the terrace and take a look at it. Let's. Well, here's another interesting plant that you have to share with me. What is this plant? This one with this really beautiful, coarse texture on the leaf, shiny leaves, is orange plume. Gets to about six feet in height, grows in full sun and into part shade. I like this and plant. And it blooms probably nine months out of the year. Nine months out of the yeah. year. I love this one, and it must be striking in the landscape. Oh, it is, yeah. yeah it's, it fills a nice role. I think you have one more to share with me, but tell me a little bit about the availability of some of these plants. All of these plants are available. You might have to search a little bit, but that's what's good about them. They're not available at 7-Eleven. So they got to be a little unusual they to be, be interesting. Unusual. This one I is, love this one. This one, the common name is Bamboo Mooley. It's, it's a Mulinbergia dumosa it is related to our native grass and it's a grass and not a bamboo and it's a very very fine texture and it's a clumper and it grows easily it looks like it's growing very yeah, well it does yeah in fact you can take a look down here and you can see how it just forms a clump that's a great that looks like a great addition so it's, to any yeah, landscape so it's, it's, so it's not a not a spreading one it gets about six feet tall and about six feet wide well Stephen Patagas of Portis Oasis thank you so much for sharing these plants with me thank you Celeste it's been my pleasure I'm convinced I simply must have a few of these plants for my landscape. I think I'm going to head to the nursery right now.